Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five really good tips that will help you pull off wearing a bold lip with confidence. This video will be really good for you if you wanna try a bold lip but you feel like you can't pull it off. If you're around the age of 30 and you just want your looks to be simple, clean, classy, sophisticated, but you wanna incorporate some fun pops of color, or if you love wearing bold lipsticks already but you want a few tips on how to match them with your clothing, your blushes, how to keep them clean. So if you fall under any of those categories, definitely keep on watching. I'm gonna do a few different bold colors and it's just gonna be a really fun video. I'm Karina if you're new and my channel is focused all on simple, classy, wearable makeup looks. So if you are into that style, then definitely check out the rest of my content and subscribe if you like it. So the first tip I have for you when wearing a bold lip is to just keep your skin really clean and polished looking. I just wanna get this tip out of the way. If you're someone who doesn't wear a ton of makeup usually, I would suggest at least putting on a concealer or just a very light coverage foundation, at least just to kind of even your skin tone out and get rid of all the redness in your skin if you have redness in your skin. If you wanna wear a bold lip, it's only gonna look really good, clean, polished if the rest of your skin is looking polished as well. We're gonna get into how I would suggest doing the rest of your makeup if you want to wear a super bold lip but I just wanted to get that tip out of the way because as simple as it is it is very important. Tip number two is a really good tip for those of you who kind of struggle with colors and how to choose a super bold colorful lip to go with your outfit. Now there are rule, there are exceptions to this rule. You can wear whatever lipstick color you want with your outfit, but I think this will really help you if you're kind of confused. Whatever bold lipstick color you choose to wear, just try to match the undertone of that lipstick with the outfit that you're wearing. So for example, I have this bold berry toned lipstick on right now. And the shirt that I'm wearing is this Anine Bing shirt that I just got a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, obviously it's pretty neutral, it's mostly black, so you could get away with wearing whatever lipstick that you want, but there is a lot of blue text in the shirt. So this lipstick really works with this shirt because of that blue undertone, and this is also has that blue kind of berry undertone. If I was gonna wear like a brown kind of nudie lip, I would want that undertone to stay more on the cool side. If I wanted to choose a red lipstick with this shirt, again, I would kind of have more of like a blue undertone to the red versus an orange kind of brighter red lipstick. I love wearing bold colors, and this is actually one of my go-to bold colors when I go out sometimes. If it's like a concert or like an outdoor live music show, something like that, then I would wear like a super dark, almost black, deep purple lipstick. That would also be a really good choice with this shirt. For something like this, just like a neutral denim shirt, you can wear any bold color you want, but I'm gonna choose a bright red lip just to kind of show you different bold lipstick choices. And I'm choosing MAC Red, and that is because it has way more of a blue, bluish kind of undertone to it than it does a red undertone. And because denim is blue, those undertones are really gonna work well together. Now, if you have an outfit that has different undertones in it, then it can be really fun. You can really get away with any lipstick choice that you want. For example, this really pretty orange dress. Because it's orange, I'm gonna pair it with an orange lip. It's bright, bold, summery, fun. But the cool thing is this dress has like more of a bluish tinted red in the flowers in it. So I could also wear that MAC Red with this and it would look really good. I would wear a bright pink lip with this just because it's summery and pink can be either warm toned or a cool tone. I would even wear this lip or that really dark purple lip with this dress. So when you have more pattern and more undertones in your outfit, you can kind of choose whatever bold lipstick you want. So if you want to do something fun and wear something bold, but you're just not quite sure exactly what color to do with your outfit, keep in mind you don't have to have the color match the outfit perfectly, but it's a really good idea to have the undertone match. If you stick to that, you can't go wrong. My third tip for you is when you're going to wear a lipstick that's this bold, you really wanna keep it clean. If you wear something this bold, you're really drawing a lot of attention to your lip, so it has to look really good. What I mean by that 
is prep your lips before you're gonna do the bold lip. Use an exfoliator, make sure they're nice and hydrated overnight. Use a lip pencil so that you get nice clean edges. Sharpen your lip pencil to make sure it's sharp so you can get those nice and clean edges. And always bring that lipstick or a liner with you in your purse so that you can touch up throughout the day or the evening at whatever event that, yet that you're at. Just so that if it does smear or smudge or wipe off that you can really touch it up to keep that lip looking clean throughout the whole evening. I think this tip is really important because if you're gonna wear a bold lip, you gotta do it right and it has to look good. Just keep in mind, your liner doesn't have to match your lipstick perfectly. For example, I used this burgundy pencil by MAC with both that D for Danger lipstick and the Urban Decay Blackmail lipstick. It doesn't have to be a perfect match, just try to get the undertone similar. Another word about liner, if you want your lipstick to last a lot longer, line your lips first and fill in the edges with the liner and then throw the lipstick on top. If you want a really quick and easy way to do your lips, throw the lipstick on first kind of rub your lips together so it kind of pushes the lip the product out to the outer edge of your natural lip shape and then go in with the liner after and just kind of clean up the edges. That way's a little bit quicker, but the first way by putting the liner on underneath is going to help with the longevity. My fourth tip for you has to do with matching your lipstick to your blush or cheek color. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when I threw this really dark lipstick on, the rest of my face started to look a little bit more washed out. I want the rest of my makeup to stay minimal looking, but I don't want to be completely washed out. So as a rule of thumb, you can always pull off a bold lip with just a neutral cheek. So I just have a little bit of bronzer on my cheek. I'm going to throw on this blush Humor Me by MAC. It's just like a bronzy, neutral toned blush. And you'll see how my face just will look a little bit less washed out. And I think it'll look a little bit better with this bold lipstick. This is why I always suggest doing your blush last and your lips first because you never really know how much blush to put on until your lip is on. So that already looks a little bit better. But if you want to do a little bit of color on your cheek, then I suggest same as how you would match the undertone of your lip with your clothing, I suggest matching the undertone of your lipstick with your blush choice. So for me, the perfect blush in this case would be this dark one. This one is called Burgundy by MAC. This is just like a very deep purple, you know, has that cool berry or burgundy undertone and so does this blush. So I'm going to pop that on just so you can kind of see how that adds to the look and how it really is cohesive with the lip. So I feel a little bit more comfortable like this just because my face doesn't look like a ghost, like a flat sheet and then my lip is just like bold in my face. Just kind of ties everything together while keeping it minimal and making sure that it's cohesive. Another example for a lip and cheek color, if I'm wearing this super bold orange lipstick which has more of a warm undertone to it, then I'm going to choose a blush that has a warm undertone to it, like this peach blush Peach obviously has that orangey kind of undertone. This is called Peaches by MAC. So you can see that that cheek looks really good with this lipstick. And if you don't have a peachy lipstick or a burgundy or berry toned lipstick, just use something very, very neutral like a flesh tone color or like I said, just a bronzer. So don't stress out about this part. It's just another extra tip if you have a few colors to play with. With this red lipstick, it is just like a classic red color, but it does have more, it leans more on the blue undertone than it does on like the orange undertone. So really any blush color from this deep burgundy to this kind of lighter berry color to just this neutral brown, they're all gonna work with this lip. I personally probably wouldn't choose like a bright pink or anything that kind of has like a peach or orange undertone in it. I mean, you can kind of get away with a little bit more with the, the red lipsticks. They're just like a classic color. So just use the blush that works for your skin tone, but maybe just stay more away from the corals unless that red has a lot more orange undertones in it, like more of an orangey red. I'm just gonna be choosing this super neutral kind of dusty rose color. And this one is called Blush Baby by MAC. It's one of their very famous classic colors. And this is just gonna give me a little bit more life. Yeah, I think that works perfectly. My last tip for you, which is a very, very important one, is to really keep the rest of your face super minimal. If you're gonna wear a really bold lip, the rest of your face should just be very, very simple and natural. I just used a very light coverage foundation. This is the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. Just to kind of even my skin tone out, I did a little bit of a bronzer, some concealer, groomed my brows, and then for my eyes, all I did was just tap on this really neutral skin tinted kind of eyeshadow. It's like a satin, so it has a little bit of a sheen 
to it, but I just grabbed it from this super neutral palette, and then some mascara and a little bit of blush. I really think that if you want to keep your look classy looking, and especially if you're 30 or above, and you just want your looks to be very clean looking and kind of sophisticated, then piling on too much makeup in too many areas is just going to take away from the look. So my preference is just to keep everything really clean looking and then making that focus on your lip. This look would work even if you didn't want to wear mascara. You could put a little bit of bronzer on your eyes and curl your lashes up and that's it and this would still look really really nice. So you've seen me in many different outfits, many different lipsticks. If you are intimidated by wearing super bold lipstick colors, I hope this video inspires you to just go for it. Just wear one. Even if it's something pretty crazy like that almost black purple lipstick that I wore in the beginning of the video. These tips should really help you in pulling all of those colors off. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you are in your 30s, you like these simple, clean, classic kind of makeup looks. I would really love to have you and I will see you in my next video.